Before we begin, I need everybody to fully understand the extent I went through to complete this project. When I found out that my queen, Annika Victoria, announced that Gigum was this month's Mixer Try Challenge, I immediately knew I needed to make a swimsuit. But finding Gigum fabric is literally the hardest thing you could ever possibly do in your entire life, dude. Okay, I literally went to 10 different stores and none of them had it, so I traveled across the country which is like five and a half hours away to the fashion district in LA and in that little baby cul-de-sac is where I finally found my gigum fabric and that's how I was able to make this swimsuit and that's my story and now you can enjoy the video. Thank you. Bye. After you put your Christmas fuzzy socks on, you're going to start cutting out your pieces. So every piece I ended up lining with this pink lining swimsuit fabric that I bought. So I just measured a bathing suit that I like the fit of and I just copied that directly onto both of my pieces. And then I cut out this long strip for the waist. I don't know if it's a waistband. But it's like this thingy that goes under like where your boobs are at for your bathing suit. So that thing, I cut that out. And then I cut out my bottoms, again using the same pattern that I used from my last swimsuit video. Except I cut it down quite a bit because remember last time those bottoms were absolutely gigongous on me. And I also wanted it to have this like cute 80s aesthetic look in the swimsuit bottom so I cut it higher up so it would reveal more of like my hips yeah next I lined up the lining piece with the outer part of the fabric and then I sewed that together with a zigzag stitch and then with some elastic I think it was a quarter inch I basically just measured enough to cover both of the leg holes and then I folded over the fabric and then did a zigzag stitch all across that so the top was like a 3 out of 10 to make. It was super easy. So I just cut out the pieces and then I just sewed the lining to the front panel and then I cut out a back panel and then I cut out the waistband piece and then I sewed that all together. So the first thing I did was I sewed the front panel to the waistband. I folded it over, which don't do that because that was dumb and it was too thick and don't do that. So I folded or I sewed it to the waistband and then after that I sewed the back panel above the waistband and then I just sewed that puppy up and then I inserted the like I broke two of my needles and one of them like snapped and almost poked me in the eyeball and also when this one bent it was so scary because it made this like terrifying noise and I literally thought my machine was going to explode. But after that, I recovered and then I ended up sewing the straps onto the swimsuit top. So I just cut where the lining piece was at and then where the other piece was at. And then I just inserted that in there and then I just sewed it shut and then that was it for the top. So for the very last step, I cut three inches off of the swimsuit bottom. So now they were only two inches high. And then I folded over some elastic and I sewed it together with the zigzag stitch, of course. And then that's it and you're done. And now you have this really cool swimsuit. And it's super trendy and it kind of does right up your butt so like that's kind of inconvenient and it might be see-through underwater but like it's okay because it looks cute and you could just wear it for pictures. Thank you. I love you. Bye.